It's about a mother who's pregnant and she gets a doll from her husband as a, as a gift, a very special gift. And um, it's a collector's item and it's very rare and it's beautiful but really creepy. You know, we had a very tight schedule and she would just go in another room, wherever we, you know, whether it was the house or the apartment and, and, and she, could, she could literally, first of all, she could turn her accent on and off, British um, English accent um, to our American English accent. I don't know how the hell they do it, but they do. And she does a great job of it. And also she could just turn her character on and off. You know, some people when they're in character and they're on the set, that's, they're in that mode. She, I mean, literally we could cut the camera and she could start laughing about something. And then you turn that camera on and I mean, she is, she's Mia. In working with them, what I do with, and I've done this in the few times I've directed before, even in television where I'll take each character, the main characters, and I'll take them out of the script and track their emotions all the way through the movie, every, everything, and almost like a graph. And then I'll write it out, what I think it is, and I'll hand it to them before we start and say, you guys, what do you think? This is my take. This is how I see your character. This is your emotions at this time. What do you think? We collaborate. And then when, before we start the movie, we're already like literally on the same page to start. And then once you get going, it's so easy to, to adjust from that. It was my models on, on this movie were patience in suspense and less is more, okay? And in The Conjuring, it's, it's, it's amazing how, how that works. And, you know, you can move a camera behind someone for a long time and that just makes the audience go crazy. Because you, you, you just don't know what's going to happen and you don't know when it's going to happen. James Wan is, the, you know, the master of horror, literally, in our, in our time right now. And I've had the benefit uh, to work with him on his last five movies as a cinematographer. And, you know, he and I have developed, I think, um, uh, a way of doing these kind of movies with his brilliance and his, his instincts on, on um, how to rattle people's bones and my sort of understanding of how to make that happen for and with him, okay, as a cinematographer. And, you know, hey, I wouldn't be here at directing Annabelle if it wasn't for James, you know, rallying for me.